It's a situation difficult for most of us to imagine. Domestic violence, one partner hitting another, sometimes with children watching. Last year alone, close to 1,500 Victoria women were victims of spousal assault. There is help, but a woman must first find the strength to reach out. It's very hard to leave, and it's hard for people to understand that. But you become very um, dependent on your abusive spouse. Um, and it was probably the hundredth time that I've left. Um, kept going back and forth because I was so nervous about being in the world by myself. It was the early 90s when Hilary Marks fell in love with an abusive man. I got tired of being beaten up and I got tired of being stepped on like a, a dirty rag. She was hit, pushed to the ground, car doors slammed on her fingers, bruised, cut. She has scars, emotional and physical, that will never disappear. Yet Hillary is one of the lucky ones. She found the courage to make a call. Bridges for Women, Cindy speaking. We provide very specialized programs for women who have a history of violence, trauma and abuse. And we support women to do some personal development and move towards meaningful employment or starting their own business. Since 1988, Bridges for Women has been warmly, lovingly empowering women to leave and break the cycle of abuse. Being connected to Bridges really, really helped me to grab onto a string and pull and, and not let go and they got me through the rough time. The daughter of a Bridges graduate from around 20 years ago is now working as a social worker up in Port Hardy and she um, came up to one of our staff at an employment fair and was, you know, really giving us heartfelt um, thanks about how Bridges had changed their lives and she was a child when her mother had attended. To mark this 25th anniversary, Bridges is reaching out to all women touched by their agency, asking for stories, poems, artwork, photographs to create a book to document lives transformed. Bridges has been a real life-saving force for me and I am so grateful to them and will always be indebted to their, their help and their service for women. Hillary's story will be in the book to be released on International Women's Day, March 8th. It's just knowing that I can do it, it really, really gives another woman an incentive to do it also. Vital People is brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.